Inspired greetings, everyone. I'm Dr. Stephanie D. Burroughs. I just have a couple of things I wanted to share with you today. For a very long time, people used to say, oh, you are great at multitasking. You do such a great job with that. And I never, I was never comfortable with that. I posed the theory to some who came to me with that, that I don't multitask. Because when I looked at what I was doing, I would have to stop doing one thing to turn to the next, to stop, to turn back to the next. And that was only because so many people were pulling and tugging and wanting and needing different things all at the same time. <laughs> and it looks like you're doing a lot, but you're really not. Because if you pull your attention from something and turn it elsewhere, you're not completing that thing that you were working on. You're not completing that task. And it takes longer. It's not efficient at all. And it's not effective. I was in a group uh, with the psychologist who was one of my Toastmasters um, at the first Toastmaster club that I joined. Awesome gentleman. And he had asked those of us in Toastmasters to participate in this group because he had a brand new program and he wanted to see how it would work with us. So I joined the group. And again, the conversation about uh, multitasking came up. So this came from the psychologist. There is no multitasking, <laughs> no such thing. And I felt vindicated like, yeah, I knew I had that right. But you just have to stop and be aware and think about what we're, what we're saying and the words we use. I, he gave me another term for what it's called. However, I wrote it in the notes somewhere. I, I did find notes on the program, but my personal notes I, I did not find. However, I just came across some other notes. May have been Adriana Huffington, but I'm not really sure. I'm just looking at the notes here. Things are all kind of together. But multitasking is task switching. It's not multi. You're not doing multiple things at one time. You're task switching, switching from one to another. There's no such thing as multitasking is in my notes. It's anti-productive, just what I talked about. You really are not getting a lot done in the shortest amount of time. If you feel that that's what you're doing, stop and take note of what you're doing. Really look at what it is you're giving your attention to. How important is it in that moment? What is the outcome that has to be initiated? What are you looking for? How soon do you need it? And that's where you put your focus. Because otherwise we're just being distracted. <laughs> I ran across another quote that I thought was really cool by Randy Potch. I'm not sure I'm saying it right. It's P-A-U-T-S-C-H. He's the author of The Last Lecture. I thought this was really cool. He said, we don't beat the reaper by living longer. We beat the reaper by living fully. If you're multitasking, then it's not fulfilling because you're not really living fully because you're so disjointed and distracted that you really can't enjoy the process, nor are you going to enjoy the outcome, whether or not it meets the results that you are looking for, but just to be an enjoyment that you took, that you made the effort, you did the work, you gave it everything you had, and now you get to see the fruits of your labor. You're not living fully if you're multitasking, you're just all twisted and turned around. <laughs> At least this is just my POV, you don't have to agree. But I thought this was such a great quote. We don't beat the reaper by living longer. We beat the reaper by living fully. So what will it take for you to live fully? What are the elements of living fully for you? Have you thought about that? What does that mean? Because we can be here for a short time, but have lived very, you know, just chock full. Lee. <laughs> Lots accomplished lots of great deeds feeling for feeling fulfilled it really gave me pause to think about it but one thing i know is a long time ago i stopped with the multitasking in fact when i see it starting to creep up on me i have to stop and go 
wait a minute, let's step back. Let's go back to what we were starting in the first place. Because it happens. I'm not saying it doesn't happen at all. It ha oh, it'll happen. But the thing is to be aware of what we're doing. I think when we are more, the more aware we become, the more fully we're living. Does that make sense to you? The more aware we become, the more conscious we are of who we are and what we're doing and why we're here and why we're doing what we're doing. And is what we're doing fulfilling the why, fulfilling the purpose. Did y'all catch that? I need to rewind and listen to it myself. Anyway, I just had a share that I wanted to give. That's what was coming to me. This is Dr. Stephanie D. Burroughs, uh, president of Stephanie Speaking. I speak. I do workshop facilitation. I help business owners navigate their way through the government contracting process, especially those who have never done it before and those who have done it and gotten stuck and they're not doing enough to move themselves forward. And um, I also wrote a book and am writing more. So that's it about me. Oh, and by the way, coming next week, the 26th, I'm restarting up my live workshops. I haven't done them in, this is what, year four, three, three full years haven't done them. So I'm back on track now. And I hope that you'll come out and you can find the information on my Facebook page, Stephanie Speaking LLC. It's just facebook.com forward slash business spirit. You can see the invite there. Um, I'll have more information for you at the end of this video that you can see. All right. So you can see the registration. Registration has been extended, by the way. It was cutting off on the 19th, but I am extending it until the 24th. So I hope you'll come out. You can find out so much more once I give you the link. Have a blessed day.